This from Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster battle playing as Clan Eshin going up against Torgavan, where he's built a Gutter Runner Doomstack, which is not the best Doomstack you can build in the game, but for Clan Eshin it's at least sort of thematic. Um, but it's been completely hard countered by the enemy army because we're doing phys uh, physical armor piercing damage while going up against something that doesn't have a ton of armor. 70 is not, not bad, but it's not not heaps, but they've got 10% ward save, 20% physical resistance, and 10% missile resistance, and that all adds up to essentially 40% resistance to our attacks. Not only that, is that gunner runners, their main thing is being able to outrun most of the enemies, even a lot of cavalry units just can't catch up, because their speed 73 here, because he's been boosted by a, a ton, and also, um, they've got this net ability, so when they get when enemies get close, they lose some speed. But the thing is, with that, it's still not enough to uh, outrun great stag knights. They're just simply too quick. Um, but we do have some other things at our disposal here. We've got some menace blows, which I'm going to order more of. Um, it's a little bit low on food, but if you want to save this army, we're going to need them. And we've got some warp bombs. Now, I'm going to do things in sort of a reverse order than what I would normally use this army with. Um, I would save the gutter runners to be used absolutely last. We need to get rid of as many of the great stag knights as possible first. So obviously using the menace belows and warp bombs first. And then I'm actually going to use the heroes after that because they're going to be fairly good at getting rid of the great stag knights with warp lightning and this one's his abilities. Um, I expect that they're going to withdraw from the battlefield. I'm not going to be able to tell them withdraw because he's already withdrawn once. It's annoying when that happens when you guys have already withdrawn once um and after all of these have left the battlefield only then will we use the gutter runners because the great stag knights are just simply too difficult for them to deal with we've got to thin them out as much as possible first now first step is to make sure that our army remains completely hidden that way when we pop down the menace belows the enemy will dogpile on them or great stag pile on them. So what we want to do here is just stay on the sides. These ones here just stay over here. And these ones come over here. I'll be revealing them uh, relatively soon. But we want to go to over here. So that when they do rout us. Um, we uh, leave the battlefield fairly quickly. And hopefully after all that they'll be a little bit exhausted. So that the gutter runners can do their job. Hopefully. See, if our guy here leaves the battlefield, it doesn't really hurt our balance of power that... Well, it hurts our balance of power, but we're not going to take a permanent leadership penalty. But if he dies, it will. So, first thing. Start getting around the back of their army with them. Now the warp bombs are going to do more damage to their um, melee infantry than it will to the great stag knights. But the great stag knights are the ones that we really need to get rid of. But if I pop it down here, they probably still will send the great stag knights in. We've got three warp bombs. So good to see that you're building your settlements up with lots of walls. That's what you need to be doing is scaven. Alright, then a little turn around. And come at us. And they do damage really quickly. Come on, quick, 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 quick. And... Cool. Now, it didn't wipe out our clan rats, so they'll continue... Get a little bit close there. Uh, they'll continue to... Um, to shoot at it and go into melee and probably hit their own units a fair bit, which is good. Yeah, popping down a single warp quake on, like, a bunch of... Um, Great Stag Knights should do a fair bit of damage. So let's have a look at Daith over here. What's his resistances? Yeah, there's a fair bit. Dragons aren't that much of a concern. Because uh, they're slower and kind of easier to hit than these cavalry units. I don't want to move these guys at all right now. Okay, we can pop down another warp 
bomb in a few seconds. Alright, let's pop that down there. Primarily aiming for the Great Stag Knights. So they're searching all the forested areas. Okay, if they don't throw enough troops in here, it's not worth putting down the warp bomb. Which, at the moment, that's okay. That's acceptable. I'll take it. Ugh. It's not great against Great Stag Knights. Better than nothing. We, we did hit the Wild Riders a fair bit, though. It's great to see them shooting their own troops a lot, though. <laughs> you know, if it's an all-infantry army like the Dwarves, the Warp Bombs are amazing. But yeah, against a cavalry-based army, eh, hit and miss with the Warp Bombs. That'd be great to pop it in there. Now the reason why we want to do this at the start of the battle is because this is losing us the least amount of balance of power by using up these um, abilities. Well, inflicting the most amount of damage. Good, good return on our uh, investment. That's gonna that's gonna really suck that one over there. But I have to rely on these guys here to actually win the battle, and the great stagnants are just too much of a problem for them. He's got to wear them out. Alright, let's pop the next one down. Now, the last five minutes below will be used for um, keeping them held back at least somewhat. When it's time for the gutter runners to fight. Oh boy, that happened real quick. That was a good one. That was a really good one. That did a ton of damage to Great Stag Knights there. Alright, now, you guys make your way up here. And, uh, get ready to route. But we'll see if we can just do a ton of damage to them before that happens. Obviously, the more damage I can do to them, the better. Hopefully, we trade reasonably well, but I'm not expecting anything. Okay, now, while that's going on, we just shadow them from the rear. So what we want to have here is as much room to run back as possible, because the edges of the map are going to be our worst nightmare for the gutter runners, because that's where we're going to have to turn around, that's where they're going to get us. So, they can see the warp grinder and the warlock engineer. I do not have the ability to withdraw them, so they're going to have to rout. But you can kind of rely on Skaven to rout in a timely fashion. Alright, great, great. Uh, this is a thorn over here. Okay. Let's try and get some of these abilities off. If I try and charge into that, it's not gonna friggin' work. Try to get them to shoot at our single entities, they're just not as good against that. Yeah, see, they can barely hit it. Keep this one back. I'd use Warp Lightning, but they'll dodge it. Oh, uh, actually, will they? Let me just... Let's see if they will dodge it. Right, they have to be standing still if I want to use that. No, what are they going for over here? It's okay, we're not in melee, so that was kind of silly to even use that. Yeah, they're trying to get at the warp grinders. Trying to stop them. Don't want to use the menace below us right now. I think that'll miss. Okay, here we go. Great stag knights incoming. We are about to get fucked. But let's hope we do some damage to them. So all I'm hoping is we do some damage before they run.
Um, I shouldn't have used that ability. Alright, that one's left the battlefield, but it'll survive as long as we win. And now we just have to hope our single entities do as well as they can. Because uh, Great Stag Knights are not good against single entities at all. Yeah, that's not going to do anything, but whatever. <laughs> that's actually not too bad there. Okay, we've got to get our Warp Lightnings off. And maybe a Cracked Call wouldn't be a terrible idea as well. I'm going to overcast it, because we're not going to have much... Oh shit, we don't have magic. This reminds me of that um, that Empire uh, Marcus Wolfhart one, where we used up the heroes to begin with. It's very similar to that. Just exhausting them as much as possible to begin with, with units that they just struggle with. So how much damage did that end up doing? Fair bit, 66 kills. Okay, you guys start moving your way over here. Alright, one of the heroes left. The Shadow Wizard. Yeah, I knew that was shit. Surprise the engineer is still here. Come on, give me more magic. Warp lightning in here is gonna be really good. I'll never be able to use that copy melee for that. Dragons fucking us up. I don't think we're gonna get any more magic. But let's hope what we've done here has exhausted their forces enough that the gutter runners can do their job. So we'll take a temporary leadership penalty from the Lord running away, but none of them got killed. That's good. Okay, he's out of here. That's looking pretty thinned out. Okay, now we've got all this room to run back. All running through the water is going to be um, slowing us down just a little bit. They're all completely fresh still, except for the Lord. Alright, and now we reveal our last hand. Okay, and we use Menace Below's here to slow down their advance on us. And we just have to hope that we can cause the army losses. I was hoping all the Menace Below's would be used- uh, sorry, all the Dragon Breaths would be used up by then. Yeah, I see they fucking catch us, but as long as you just keep moving, you can keep shooting keep going. See, they can be very disruptive in your formations. Look how many units they disrupted. Start spreading out a little bit more as well. Go out, I need this menace below. We've got too many great stag knights coming in here. But it's, I think it's working. I think it's working. This is why it was so important to have all this room to run back. It's not exactly the biggest map ever, nor is it the smallest. Okay, down there. We still have that leadership penalty from the Lord Fleeing. Yeah, but that'll expire soon. Not too much damage has been done to us. Still got three more minutes below us, which is good. I don't think they really end up doing any damage. Yeah, not really. These great stag knights are just too strong against this. Great stag knight spam. And Sisters of the Thorn. If anything, they're actually more dangerous. Because they got missile attacks. And various other magical abilities. Most of the grand Great Stag Knights are now gone. Most of them. Like I said, everything that we did up until this point was to just try to thin out those Great Stag Knights. 
Shit, someone's getting left behind. Oh, it's only part of their unit. Okay, we're getting fairly close to the edge of the map here. That's not ideal. But man, are they thinned out. Why are these ones over here hanging back? So one weakness that the Great Stag Knights do have is that they're kind of bigger than regular cavalry. I don't know if I really need to use that mess below though. Alright, cool. There's barely anything remaining. But what does remain is actually very dangerous. Got the Great Stag Knights are actually running away. Alright, if we um, dogpile on this one here, we should be able to kill it quite quickly. Luckily it's on a mount, so that makes it an easier target. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. This one here doesn't have any physical resistance. Yeah, that one's not too resistant. That's good. And now the leadership penalty from the Lord running away has expired. Basically, right now, the only difference between the Lord being here and not being here is the bounce of power that he provides for us. But I think the bounce of power is in our favor, so it's fine. He did us a cru crucial job of thinning out these fucking great stag knights. Right, they can't see us. And we've still got... It's a little fresh, so that's nice. Alright, let's focus on Daith. He'll be hard to take out because he's got so much resistances. Let's have a look. 10% plus 20%, 30, 25, and 55% missile resistance. But if he stays up in the air, he's not really going to do that much damage to us. Ah, oh, you little bitch. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nope, he doesn't want to stay up in the air. Give him some clan rats to deal with. But because he's a big target, at least we're not really going to miss him that much. Oh yeah, even with all that resistance, dra this is the problem with dragons, they just got such a gigantic hitbox. And we got him. Can't see if we can wipe him out. Jeez, all that resistance is there doesn't mean shit. And this is, this is one of those areas where dragons can really suck on. And there we go. They hard countered us. But there's no hard counter to cheese. Anyway, I, I'm there. Oh, hang on. I might be able to catch up with their infantry. Not that they were anywhere near as much of a threat. But yeah, I don't think any unit got wiped out. Which is usually the goal with these disaster battles. Not only save their army, but save the entire army. If I can. Obviously, there's some situations where you just have to make a sacrifice. Which we did in this battle. We had to make some sacrifices, but you'll be able to recover from it. I know you're in friendly territory because you got warp bombs. And I didn't end up needing all the menace belows. But yeah, if we had um, used the, the uh, gutter runners at the start of the battle, we would have gotten fucked up by all of those great stag knights. They would have fucked us up. You could see how much damage they did when they had just a handful of them. And you know, they're, they're totally fine. Look at this one here, 78 kills. That overcasted uh, Crack's Call was really good. All of their great stag knights got wiped out. Oh, hang on, that one there didn't. And a little bit of compensation food there for you. But at least you get to keep your army. I'll give you two food or two grand. Hmm. Your money is a little bit on the low side. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Uh, so we'll go with the food. Obey, King. Our open. And there you go. Alright, so let's have a look at that. The army is pretty much fully recovered, just about. All the important units have recovered at least. And then this should be an ambush, right? Yeah. Bye-bye. 
This will be an easy order to resolve. Yep. And there you go. And it's dealt with. Cool. You know, until they rebuild it. So, it might be in your best interest to take them out. But it's... Oh, look at that. Towson got wiped out. And, um... Okay, that's interesting. Well, uh... You can't just jump in the underway over here or else, um... Argulan will come and get you. Or them, for that matter. This is why it's so difficult to deal with Hathalorin. Not that Wood Elves in general are difficult. Like, Drake is actually quite easy to deal with. If you know what you're doing. What the fuck? Khalid is over here. <laughs> this is weird. Um, I wonder if we use the random start position mod. No, everything else seems to still be in its place. How the fuck did Kalita get there? Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, maybe she just ruined well her way up that way. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Uh, appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.